This will instruct you to how to make a small mobile application using IdeaMart Idea Pro. I will be using Java as a programming language and will be using the sample code available on the IdeaMart website. I'm currently on the IdeaMart website, ideamart.lk. Under Idea Pro, you can see the available downloadable files. You can download the simulator and docs separately or download both by clicking on the developer bundle. Go to the extracted developer bundle and note the sample code folder which is available within it. Now go to your preferred IDE. I will be using the IntelliJ IDEA IDE but you are free to choose Eclipse, NetBeans or any other IDE you prefer. The sample application we are going to build will be a simple application to capture a mobile originated message and send a response to it. From the IDE, now you can create a project from scratch. Then you need to specify the project file location to the sample code folder which was extracted from the developer bundle. Click next to create the project. Now you can see that the project has been created with the sample files. Now let's import the libraries or we will see errors as displayed here with red underline. Go to project structure, click add libraries and click Java. Then navigate the folder of the sample code and import libraries into the lib folders as well as the libraries jetty folder. Once the libraries are imported, you can see that the errors are not displayed anymore. Now, let's jump into the coding part. You will be able to see two packages, client and standalone. In the standalone package, you see a class called mainapp. This is a class responsible for running Jetty applications. Using this, you can automatically deploy your applications in the Jetty server. Under the client package, you will find the class Simple Client, which is a class the developer should work with. In the sample code, we have the coding to receive a SMS and to send a response to it. Now, let's go through the Simple Client code. Here, you receive a mobile originated message from the subscriber. You need to create a sender. After that, you have to create the response message, specify the password and source address. Here is a code that creates a response message. Now you can send a response using the SMS response handler. Now to build an application. Let's go to the sample code folder. From that folder navigate to the bin folder. Here there will be four files available. A standalone file and WAR file for each OS, Windows and Linux. Using standalone, you can create applications that run on the jetty or use a WAR file to run using an application server. In this demonstration, we will be using the standalone executable. Let's copy the path to the bin file and enter in command prompt to navigate to the bin folder. Enter in create underscore standalone dot bat. As you can see, the build was successful. Let's go back to the sample folder. Here you can see a new folder called target. From the target folder, go into the standalone folder where you will see a bin folder. Inside the bin folder, you can find two executables. One for Windows and one for Linux. Now, go to the directory of the executable from the command prompt. Then, enter start hyphen app dot bat to start the application. You can see the application running. So, let's test it now. 
go to the simulator which we have already started where the parameters have already been set for the sample application. In the message field, type the message you want to send and click the send button. In the bottom most table under message sent to the application, you can see the sent message with the status saying success. In the message sent to customer table, you can see the response message from the application to the customer. As you can see the response message can be sent in the application and that message will be displayed in the response. Now you can start building and simulating your own mobile applications.